In this video tutorial, we're going to show how to use the new line hinge tool that's found in Adapt Builder 2019. And this was part of the uh, 2019 Build 2 release, July of 2020. Okay, we'll define the example here. In this example, we have um, really this is a slab. Uh, there's a line support on the right side or the left side. This line support is fixed if we double click on that this is fully fixed um, and then on the other side we have a roller uh, roller support so we have a, a vertical reaction here the slab is 12 inches thick and this ultimately kind of is a beam right so it's a it's really a one-way slab similar to a beam and this is 12 inches thick we're only uh, relying here on the self weight in terms of our analysis I have no other load on this and what we're going to do is first run this. We're going, going to expect we have uniform load on this, um, essentially one kip uh, per foot, or, or excuse me, 1.5 kips per foot. The width here is actually 10 feet. So using a, a density of 150 pounds per cubic foot, we get about 1.5 kips per foot of self weight. And we're going to run this first, and we're going to just kind of review the result without a hinge, and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to include the hinge. So first let's go ahead and mesh this and we're going to um, run the analysis. I'll just use service total. Really we're just considering the self weight. So I'll turn off the stabilize. I don't want the program to add any additional supports for stabilization. Those are already inherent in the way we've modeled our line supports. And we get um, a solution and then I'm going to go a step further. I'll generate my design cuts you can see those cuts here and I'll design the design cuts. So we get our design cuts and we can review here in the result browser under the analysis for the combination we ran the bending diagram. So we have a bending diagram here of 663. Shear diagram is what we would expect and if we say well we want to add a hinge here and we're going to pass you know load from maybe one side to the other we're going to expect this to kind of shoot up in terms of the moment we have zero uh, bending here and then we have a continuation of the diagram so we're going to add that hinge here now in the model so I'll go back to my default display I'm going to turn on my grids and I'll say that the hinge is going to be placed at um, 40 feet from the left and so the new new option here is shown under uh, modeling if we go to the line support option we can see here, line support, this actually is shown as a line support slash hinge. This is an internal hinge, and I'll just place that there, and I'll double click on it, and now I'm going to call this an internal hinge. I have it fixed in the vertical direction, meaning it can transfer only shear vertically. So once I set up my um, different conditions relative to that hinge, let me turn on the other two line supports. This is actually a line support here. This is an LS here this is a line hinge here and then another line support here but they're they're kind of invoked using the same tool in the software uh, once I do that I need to remesh we've added a new component into the uh, into the model so I'm going to mesh that that meshes along the hinge line and then I'm going to analyze I'll analyze for the same exact combination now what's interesting is Manually, in older versions, you could actually produce this uh, without graphically having this available. And, uh, it's much easier to have this graphical tool, but if I turn off my uh, line supports and my line hinge, you can see this shell element. If I go to release, the program is actually automatically adjusting the, the element releases here on these different edges. And that's really what's happening with the line hinge tool. It's automatically doing that along the length of the hinge that you introduce into the system. So once I do that, I'm going to generate the cuts again, design the cuts, and once that's designed, we can come back immediately to the bending actions along that strip. There's our zero point. I can actually turn on the values. There's the zero mark. It's close to zero uh, there, and then the shear diagram here. And so if we want to look at the deformed shape, if I go to this viewer and I look at the vertical deformation, 
it's hard to see it here. I can warp this and we can clearly see that hinge form there, but I could also go to a, a deformed shape here. You can see the fixity at this far end, which essentially stabilizes the system. And this is our display shape for that internal hinge. So that's a nice new tool found in Adapt um, Builder 2019 Build 2. If you have any questions, please contact us at support, adapt support at resa.com. Thank you.